My Dutch warm blood is 17.3 hands and 1,500 pounds. We live in central Florida where the summers can be brutally hot and humid. I can only imagine. He is 18 years old and has been in work most of his life as a jumper for years and now does dressage. He has always sounded a bit heavy breath after working for about 30 minutes but seems to recover afterward. My trainer says that's just him and he's fine. I'm often scheduled for training later in the morning or even afternoons and have passed on the lesson for fear it will be hard on him. But I feel like everyone thinks I'm babying him too much. How much should I push him in the heat? With summer just around the corner, I'm already stressed. Yeah, maybe she should do the reverse um, bird, winter bird thing where the people from Florida move up here when it's, when it's hot. I don't know, that's a thing. Yeah, our summers are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I feel like you know your horse best. And if you think he is uncomfortable and you need to not do a lesson because it's a particularly hot and humid day or call a lesson short or have a light day, then, then I think that's fine. And, mm -hmm. and don't, let, um, don't be affected by peer pressure. Um, I'm going to let you have a conversation with your trainer. I'm not getting in the middle of that. Um, I would also tell you to have a conversation with your vet because it is possible that now, while it sounds like she's got a big, heavy horse, mm -hmm. that I, I'm not surprised that it doesn't deal well with heat. Because if you think about um, eventing, they don't use 17-3 hand Dutch yes. warm bloods for a reason. They don't recover well from cross country. Um, but talk to your vet because it's possible your horse could have a medical reason for not recovering well or just struggling with performance when it's hot and humid. Something like maybe he's borderline anhydrosis, like non sweater. Mm. Maybe he's got a respiratory condition brewing, like um, inflammatory airway disease or, or something like that, you know, allergies. Where it just, if there's, he's fine if it's all great, but the minute it gets above a, th a threshold, he begins to, to suffer. Um, when, when you talk to your vet, you'll also want to uh, go over the best way, well, how to make sure you know your horse's vitals, mm -hmm. temperature, pulse, and respiration, but also the best way to cool your horse. And a lot of people don't know, it's, um, well, I can't reach it, but it's that black thing and this thing. So there's a saying, do we just knock everything over? I knocked over? everything okay. over, sorry. Great. Um, spray, scrape, repeat. And so you want to you want it to cool them down because he's he's big. When you have a lot of muscle, mm -hmm. then it takes a long time for the heat to dissipate. Yes. So that may be part of why he feels uncomfortable. But um, so you spray them with cold water. You can hose them or use a, a bucket. Ice is fine. You can add uh, rubbing alcohol to the water, mm. and it it cools faster. You can put it right over the muscles on the horse's whole body. None of those. Rumors you heard about causing cramps or tearing yes. up or true. Okay. Um, I feel like we've sort we've of... We've all heard that. Okay. <laughs> right. So you, you get them wet and immediately you scrape them off. And you can feel that water is hot already. Yeah. So you have to get the hot water off. Otherwise, it acts like an insulator or a raincoat and makes them hotter. So you think you're doing something good, but you might be doing have something detrimental. Have you seen the people that um, they've got a hot horse, they're trying to cool them out, and they put a towel, a wet towel over them? Mm-hmm. Don't do that. That's the worst thing possible because you are keeping the heat in. Interesting. Yeah, that's terrible. So uh, hose them off and then scrape that scrape off that and hot water and then, then spray, cool it down scrape, again. repeat, scrape. It's like your hair. When the, the shampoo says um, lather, rinse, repeat. So yeah. you, you, just, you just keep doing <laughs> it. My hair is really short. I don't yeah. use it the repeat until that the, often. Until the water comes off cool, and um, you can let him drink. You can uh, keep him walking. You can, if you can find a breeze or shade, that's and they, ideal. And what you just brought up, letting them drink, I think that's another misconception a lot it of people. Is, they think yeah. if they let their horse drink, if they're hot, they're going to colic or no, something like that. No, because it cools them off, it rehydrates them, and a really interesting tidbit, horses will drink, they'll have a thirst, that thirst mechanism kicks in right when they're done working and they're hot, or even while they're working, mm -hmm. like if you see endurance horses. But if you give them time and they cool off, they're like, nah, I'm good. Oh. So let them drink when they're if hot. If they're thirsty, let them drink. You know what? You heard it right here. <laughs> if they're thirsty, let them drink. I so. think that movie Black Beauty did us all wrong as far <laughs> oh as the only drink where it's hot. But. So trust your instincts. I'm going to interrupt this. So trust your instincts. Um, don't. So talk to your vet. Talk again to your trainer. Um, it, make sure you know your horse's normals and know how to cool. And uh, I, I like the idea of working when it's early if yes. you can, 
um, not working on those hot, humid days. I mean, it's it's the thing. Some some horses just don't handle the heat. Like people don't handle the heat. I mean, I'm a delicate flower, so when it gets warm, I like to stay inside. <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully that was helpful, Marion, and keep us posted with how your horse is doing.